Hello, this is number three. What we're doing in number three is we're describing what is the course? What does the actual week look like? How much time do I have to put in, Steve? I think we can keep it to under an hour. If you have almost no time, if you have virtually, if you find it hard to 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 create 20 minutes in your day for something that you need. I can still help you, okay? If you have 10 minutes on your drive to work and I know your mobile number, I'm going to call you and that will be one of our individual lessons, okay? Here's the hours per week. There's a 30 minute group lesson once a week. The group will meet, and there's a structure to it. After 30 minutes, it's over, but the teacher is still around for questions, and the students who want to stay sit and listen to each of the questions, and they take their turns, and then I answer, or another student provides an answer. It's like after the lesson, we analyze what we did in the lesson. I expect that this will take 30 to 35 to 45 minutes because there will be so much interesting, um, so many interesting things, there will be so much that is interesting that we will want to discuss it. But for the people who are limited by time, they will get the 30 minutes and then they can watch the rest. Everything is videotaped, everything goes onto the web, so please do not discuss, you know, hey, I need to know the vocabulary for my wife thinks I have a mistress. Mm, yeah, we don't want to hear about that, okay? Unless you want to talk about, oh, I have a friend who has a mistress and he has this problem. Okay, we can talk about that. Now, what happens? Two or three calls in the week, depending on your time. Each call is about 10 minutes. I expect you to write five sentences and send them by email every day. I know some of you won't do this, but I've factored in the time, okay? So that would be, what's it take to write five sentences and then hit send? Uh, I hope you can do it in four minutes, okay? You're going to write, you're writing very quickly, so then you make mistakes. I want to see mistakes. Then there's a major homework about six weeks in and, and a video also. You're going to write at least four pages and it will take you about five weeks to collect everything. But I want you to write something, lessons that you learn from older people. It explains on the website, but the essential idea is um, my mother told me something that has always been very useful to me. And then you talk. Or, my first boss was crazy, and I learned a lot from him. Or, I went to a school where there was a quiet time. Everybody sat in a room, and we listened to one professor talk about an important issue. And I remember three of these meditations, and they're very strong in my memory. I'd like to share them with you. You see what I'm doing? It's a short lesson, and you're going to write it down. Later, there's a major video where you actually speak the way I'm speaking. No more than three minutes, but it will be an excellent explanation. Something that, a story that you can tell people and you're practicing telling stories. That's the, that's the idea. Um, for each group lesson, I'd like to have each of us do something about news and something about uh, a new word. And each of these is like a mini presentation that you're standing up and you're saying, um, I have a very interesting new word that I just discovered. Um, it, I saw it on a sign outside um, a restaurant. It said, tow away, you know, pronunciation, tow, T-O-W, 
like your your toe. Like your toe. Ha! I bet you thought I was properly dressed, right? Okay. Toe. Toe away. So that would be your new word. And then the second thing that you are doing in each of these group lessons, group lessons, is you, oh, I heard something interesting on the radio yesterday, or I read an article recently about the TAM accident that took place last year. Right? Just very casually. What we're doing is we're filling in your gaps where you feel you don't have fluency. We want you to be like a river, very naturally, talking about something that's meaningful to you. We can find these examples inside a textbook, but I want them to come from you. So the time, let's look at the total time that we're using. You're, you're spending about 10 minutes or 15 minutes each week listening to a video that we will talk about in the main class. Okay? You've got the 30-minute group class, and then you've got three individual classes. I'm catching you at a time that um, is very convenient for you. So I'm not even counting these 10 minutes here because if I'm catching you while you're driving, you are stuck anyway in traffic, right? Some of you use that time to do some reading, so all right, I'm having to deduct this from your, your total time. So let's say that you're a very organized person and every minute of your day is allocated and if I'm asking for 10 minutes, it better be well scheduled. Some of you will use Skype. I prefer Skype, it's lower cost, but we'll see. Total time then is 30, another 30 for the calls, another 15 for videos, and then your writing time. Plus you're going to find time to write a major homework and delegate that. So I'm estimating an hour 15 minutes to an hour and a half each week. If you can't devote that much time, we can still work with you. You will still get benefit by doing the three calls. And I look forward to working with you in this format. I'm sure you have questions, so please write to me, visualandactive at gmail.com, visualandactive at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.